you don't know, you know, a Chala Blacks, the man who always come and speak the facts to the max. I'm actually on the grounds, I'm in Canada, to be precise, Toronto, Canada. And here we have Honest with you, I'm the person who have a six pack and they turn me into a sap right now because me eat so much that the six pack push out, right? And seriously, I really think I talk without a doubt. So listen, I just want to check it out and see what I'm going, right? You can dine in, as it, as it said here on the bus, right? You see them have them fun? You can dine in, you get catering, you get takeout. Them on Instagram, as you see, Facebook, all right? Um, and you see where they're located, right? They're located at... 6210 Finch Avenue West, right? In, in Toronto, right next to uh, the big supermarket over there that's called Sunny Food Mart. You can't miss it. Sunny Food Mart over there, right? Okay. Now they have they have a uh, breakfast special. They have breakfast special. They have lunch special as you see goes right here. Trust me, I'm from New York. I'm always in Brooklyn. I'm always in Queens, right? I'm always in Bronx, and I've never tasted any Jamaican cuisine like this. And you know the reason why too? It's an authentic Jamaican born and bred and raised person because sometimes you go to a Jamaica restaurant, and guess what? It said Jamaica restaurant, but the person is not even from Jamaica. They might be from a different island, you understand? This person is an original chef back in the days at Grand Lido Negril, right? Now that hotel is changed over and called Royalton in Negril. He was a, an executive chef, a, a big chef in Grand Lido Negril um, in Jamaica. I know he resides in Toronto, Canada. And trust me, I'm telling you, it's the best food ever. So we're gonna step inside. It only gets better. So as you see, he has this nice displays, very authentic. Um, place is very patriotic about Jamaica and also it has a little treats for the kids and if anyone like a little sweet tooth they can have their little um, ice cream from this little station here also and also as you can see it's not just a takeout as he said it's dining you see this is a full full dining room um, set up um, where you have your food where we have two four six eight and you're looking at six times six fours already 24 so we can hold as much as 30 person in here it's comfortable to see because on the edge here you could get six person if you just pull these tables so each table could be for six and as you see it's like little color there are customers in here ordering and as you see the platters on the side right and as you see the showcase right here the showcase that's also all type of roots wine and and all these type of good stuff even the jamaican um good cold cold medicine the dph elixirs the last cause are in the soup food case and you can see the stuff that are right here in this one also you can see where it has um the goodies also the, the, the crackers and the and the, the cheese and the bun and up the top you see those good hard old, um jamaican bread here we also have some of the best um jamaican rum cake, those dark um, rum cake, which, you know, are authentic. And everything here, you see the easy spice and stuff. Again, we have uh, the gizadas and tambourine ball and all these type of good things inside here. In this showcase, you see everything that's going on. The, the, the kingfish and the shrimp and you name it. But it even get better here. Look at these fried dumplings. The festival, the bami. We just finished up all the fried breadfruits that was there. Unfortunately, you know. And look at this absolutely patriotic Jamaican display of the things that we have back at home. And you know, for anyone that has more, are my viewers, my TikTokers, my IG, my Instagram people, look at the sign. You, you, you're familiar with this, right? Health over wealth with Chala Blacks on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. So anyone that's always viewing will know that it's it's official. And um, as I said again, I'm from where? New York. And we have Brooklyn, we have Bronx. We have, we have Brooklyn, we have Bronx, <clears throat> right? We have Brooklyn, Bronx, and Queens, right? 
and it has a lot of a lot of Jamaican cuisine. But trust me, this is absolutely hands down the best uh, Jamaican cuisine that I ever have since I've been leaving Jamaica 18 years now, right? And it's it's funny too because it's my first time in Canada. It's my first time to Toronto. He also has menus, uh, catering menus and flyers with all the information that you will definitely need. So when you stopped in also, you can absolutely ask for one of these um, flyers and it has all the information on there. And hands down, trust me, once you come here, you'll be back again. Trust me, it doesn't even matter if you're out of state or out of the country. Once you get back to this 87.6 Jam Rock, right, that's, <clears throat> that's here in Toronto, you're definitely getting hooked to this once you once you come here to um to dine and have the cuisine it have this place 876 jam rock has made my stay in toronto phenomenal excellent and i just want to say that i hope that you come and check it out whenever you are in canada right it's chala blocks and i'm out